everyone, welcome to my pick your card. We're going to be giving out some messages. Today is December 5th, so these messages may apply to you in your current situation or something you need to be aware of, a potential future for some of you. The first pile that we have is with this turquoise crystal. The second pile is with the selenite wand. And the third pile is with the Apocalypse. So for pile number one with the turquoise crystal, let's start with this Six of Air. So this is Uranus and Saturn energy. So some of you guys could be Aquarius or Capricorn or Capricorn Aquarius test because Saturn uh, rules Capricorn and Aquarius and uh, Uranus rules Aquarius so so this card is the seven of air it shows us a desolate landscape a tree without leaves and on one of its branches a bird's nest from which seven hungry young heads stick out we seem to hear their chirping which reminds us of a moaning calling for some form of love or the possibility of being rescued and restored. This talks about the possibility of being abandoned, a lack of resources, loss of objects or people. The absence of guidelines may bring about moments of desperation, confusion, or futile efforts, asking for relief and or help. So some of you guys need help in a situation that may involve money or you don't have what it is that you need maybe some of you guys have children and they need something and you need help or something like that because the other card that came out with your pile is great fortune so if some of you guys are looking for some type of financial help then that is coming um, but it's followed by you being not so in a spot to ask for help ask other people for help so Try and look with inside yourself and find the confidence to ask for that help because you will receive it, call number one. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Pile number two, we have the Ace of Air in reverse with Aquarius, Uranus, and Saturn energy, um, as well as Judication. So let's see what that's about. So this Ace of Air shows us a dove opening its wings as a protective mantle over humanity. A crystalline figure representing the pure and virginal state in which a human comes into this world. A symbol of the Holy Spirit. But this card is in reverse and this means the highest form of treachery, disagreement, intimate danger, loss of purity, lack of beauty. So there's definitely something going on with you, pile number two, because we have judication as well. So some of you guys are, um, you guys are being forced to see certain things or certain actions that you're taking that are not for your highest good or for the highest good of other people around you. You guys are probably going to be showing a mirror reflection of what type of energy you're putting out into this world so it can come back to you so you can see what it is you're doing or how you may be hurting another person some of you guys uh, have some type of disagreement with someone that needs to be you need a mediator or some of you have um are going to court so that was for you pile number two i really hope that message resonates please remember to like share and subscribe all right pile number three you guys have oya and the lover's card Okay. This Oya card shows us a stormy sky with flashes of lightning making their way from among the clouds. Oya appears angrily on the land, drawn as a cyclone, standing over a cemetery. You have been, you've made yourself by dint of courage, fighting willpower and tenacity. Your thoughts 
are quick and often allow no disagreement. A versatile character, you will be able to perform more than one task at a time. You will find it difficult to become rooted to a place or situation because you love change. So much so that you may choose novelty over the traditional or conventional. Something may bring you new experiences. Challenging, qualified for research or at least to start research activities. At once analytical with possessive and possessive of things you consider your own. You can be cautious and repress impetuous when you decide to do it. Fortitude, speed. This card governs the nervous system, its filaments and nerve endings, and also electricity and all related items, such as conductors, power plants, filaments, cables, and etc. And this came out with the lover's card. So it's interesting, there, there's like some stuff going on possibly with between a person you care about where you have to stand up for yourself or you have to speak um, against something and this person may not like it and I feel like um, you have to speak to someone about something that you truly care about and it feels good for you in a way you're receiving all this strength and courage um, and you're sharing something I'm gonna get another card it's like we need one more message let's see clarify Oya and the lover's card please and thank you there it is you have message so yeah so you guys are totally telling somebody something or someone's telling you something and they're standing up for themselves um they have a lot of courage and they're really passionate about what they're speaking so i really hope that message resonates with you guys thank you so much for watching please remember to like share and subscribe